Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Big Vale, and in today's video, we have day 10 of the Legend League series, and today's video features none other than Queen Charge Dragon Riders. Now, if you're not familiar with the Legend League series, it's where I take an army that you guys choose through voting in a poll in the community tab on YouTube, and carry it into a Legends League day. So today, as I've mentioned, it is Queen Charge Dragon Riders. It's a attack that's actually really popular in Clash of Clans right now. And if I'm honest, I've never really given it too much attention. I did do a guide on it a little while ago that you can see just above me. But um, yeah, this is the first time I've actually genuinely tried using it for a few days. And I've got to be honest, I'm actually kind of impressed. It's a very solid hit, and I understand now why it's probably... Now, I don't know if this is still the case, but why it was, at least, the most prevalent hit in Clash of Clans esports. So, the concept of it is, it's similar to a Queen Charge uh, Lalo, in that you'll charge out as much as you possibly can to create sort of a, an L shape or a straight line of funneling for those Dragon Riders. The only difference, or the key difference, really, between Queen Charge Riders and Queen Charge Lalo is that Queen Charge Riders, you don't need to worry too much about protecting the dragon riders now don't get me wrong you do need to use your frel uh, spells to kind of support them as well as your warden's ability but um it's not like with Valalo where they'll get two shotted by most defenses dragon riders are fairly robust and as long as you do a little bit of light management with them they can typically wipe out a base with relative ease so what we're doing here guys we're looking to charge the queen into the town hall we've got the king doing some cleanup on the outside at three and the reason for that ultimately is to make sure the queen does go into the town hall i didn't want to walk in around and up towards 12. we've got the flame flinger you can see doing its thing and if you watch this channel regularly you know that i love the flame flinger it is the best thing that's happened to clash of clans in a long long time big big fan of it so supercell well done We've got the Dragon Riders coming in now. Town Hall goes down. Sweeper pointing north goes down. So that means we've got no Sweeper push going against these Dragon Riders. They're moving in. And you'll see that I do typically send the Royal Champion with the Dragon Riders with this attack. So if you're wondering why, the main reason is in case you come across Air Skellies. Air Skellies and Defending Heroes, I guess. It saves you having to rush a Headhunter in. You can be a bit sloppy with Headhunter deployment, as you saw I just was. We've got them over here, just chipping away and cleaning up now. And, um, yeah, it's just nice to have that extra bit of defense targeting going on with your main push. But you can see, guys, we're absolutely crushing this base. Now, it did come quite close to the wire. And one thing I did find with doing this attack is if you don't get the Dragon Riders deployed in time, but also if you don't path them correctly and you end up losing them, then time fails are really, really common with this. Fail fails, not so much, because typically the Dragon Riders take out enough defences for the Queen to be able to clean it up. But yeah, time fails can be a bit of an issue. So if you want to take this attack and make it your own, just be mindful of when you're actually deploying the Dragon Riders. Okay, so we got off to a great start. Three star in the first hit, seven to go. This one is Stefan from David and Goliath. Now, who is David and who's Goliath in this matchup? We're going to find out soon, guys, within three minutes. And you can see this one goes all the way to the three minute mark again. But maybe there's a little clue here. No, I'll give you the clue. We haven't actually dropped a troop yet. So the countdown's still going on. So it wasn't actually three minutes. So time fail may not happen. I talked about fail fails not being particularly common with this attack too. Look at that. Terrible from me. Terrible. Ended up taking damage from the Archer Tower. I should have sent in another balloon. I should have just dealt with the Archer Tower. Noob play from me and that could cost me because that took away, what, a third of the health on that Flame Flinger? That ain't good guys. It really is not good. So we've got the Queen coming in from 7.30, 8 o'clock. And the idea here... And you can see I'm funneling at nine with sneaky goblins. Is to try and get this queen to charge into the town hall. It's an ambitious charge and probably going to fail, or maybe it won't. But uh, yeah, that's the vision I was going for. I was going for that charge into the town hall, and then we've got that L shape created. The flame fling is doing its thing down at six, taking out what's left. Multi inferno going down. Wizard tower builder hut. Pretty good value from that flinger, honestly. And because the Queen's tanking for those two Expos, it means the Flame Flinger isn't going to get touched. Beautiful. Okay, so Wallbreaker goes in. So there goes my dreams of getting in to that Town Hall compartment. 
So the queen is probably just going to walk here. She's going to go wander and take out the defending queen. We've got a partial CC pull, three minions, which usually means we've got super minions following. That's generally the rule that I follow. In fact, can the queen reach, reach the town hall from there? Did I fail? You know what? I think the queen might be able to. It may sound like I don't know what happens in this attack. And partly, I, I actually can't remember everything that happens in all of them because, you know, eight attacks and my memory's not good, guys. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. But yeah, the queen does reach the town hall. Beautiful. Dragon riders with balloons coming from that uh, flame flinger, coming in from over at five o'clock. They're working their way in towards the eagle and the eagle going down is absolutely critical. Eternal tone goes off and that was because I saw a seeking air mine moving in. And of course, because my balloons are moving closer to that multi inferno, wanted to make sure that multi was going to go down. Rage spell gets dropped in. We're now pushing in towards the top side. King is cleaning up over at 10.30. Got a wizard dropped in for clean up at 12. Dragon Rider is still going strong and we don't have much defensively left, especially with that RC. Under Rage approaching the upper air defense. It's looking good guys, this is looking like a crushing triple. Queen charge is still going on in the court with ability. Seven cleanup minions still to drop in and we've got the best possible split on these Dragon Riders. They've gone all different directions and we've got all bases covered. We are going to clutch up a triple. Ten seconds left, Queen ability swagged and even a little cheeky invis dropped in there. Boom. Job done guys, we get the three. So two triples back to back just shows how strong this army comp really is. Up next it's Abo Broom. And he's got a, I don't know, is it a box base? I guess it kind of is. Yeah, we'll call it a box base. So what we're gonna do here, simple queen charge into the town hall. So did I, that oh, was good, that was good. The healers did stay out of the town hall's range. So perfect, queen can easily get that town hall down. We've got balloons dropped in from nine o'clock because you know what's coming up behind those balloons, guys. You know what's going to happen. It's going to be a flame flinger. Now, at this point, um, I seem to have kind of forgotten to drop the flinger in. <laughs> Whoops. Big noob, big veil. So what I should have done there is actually drop the flame flinger in straight away. Think what actually happened. And, you know, I'm just kind of speculating here. I think I actually thought I dropped it, I thought I deployed it, and then it turns out I just hadn't. So uh, yeah, I screwed up there. So we've got the Queen Charge going on regardless. She's gonna, there we go, Flame Flinger eventually gets dropped in. She's moving up, poisoning the Super Minions, and Queen's gonna step up, and she can easily deal with both ground bows plus the air defenses. In fact, the King's getting one of them, so that makes the Queen's job a lot easier. She can just move straight over towards three o'clock, take that air defense down. So you saw the time on the clock, it was three minutes at the start. So this is probably not looking like a three star. It's probably looking like a time fail, but let's not second guess things. You all know that I'm more than capable of getting those last split second triples. So it could still be, especially with the pathing that we're making here. It's actually really, really solid. A good straight line working through either side of the base, quite easy to execute. And this queen charge is showing no sign of stopping. It's moving in towards the scatter shot now. Honestly, the queen charge, phenomenal. Unfortunately, Eagle landed some shots on the healers, which means the healers are gonna go down soon. As soon as that multi inferno locks onto them, melted. Rip the healers. Flame Fling is still doing some work down on the eight o'clock side and at this point, I was kind of thinking, where do I send the Dragon Riders in from? Or, you know, a few seconds before this point. So the reason why I chose that side is because I had a feeling the Queen was going to take down the Sweeper that was pointing towards one o'clock. And it did happen, so we didn't have any Sweeper resistance. And fortunately, fortunately, the Flame Flinger didn't pop before the Dragon Riders kind of made the way across that side of the base anyway. But at this point, we are struggling for firepower. We did have defending heroes to get through, and I probably didn't manage things as well as I perhaps could have done. But uh, it's not going awfully, guys. It's not going awfully. That invis was bad, though. If I'd have made my RC invisible, but not the defending one, maybe we could have taken the RC down, and those balloons could have possibly drifted in and taken out the expo and sweeper. I'm not sure. Probably not, actually. That's probably a bit overly ambitious. But you can see here that it's maybe a time fail, maybe a fail fail. I, I don't know. Answers on the postcard, guys. Personally, I'm going to hold my hands up and say this is probably a fail fail because that expo and sweeper combo against my minions and uh, baby dragon 
probably would have been a little bit too much to handle. Now we move swiftly on to attack number four, and this is Andrew from Korea. So Andrew with pretty weak walls, but his defenses, I think we can all agree, are maxed out. I don't see anything here that makes me think, haha, Andrew, you rushed. But um, yeah, the walls, obviously, you know, a little bit of a problem. But uh, how do we get through this? We're not going to let the walls put us off. I know they're low level, but given this is predominantly an air attack, the walls aren't the main factor here. So the queen, going to charge in towards the lower scatter shot. So reasoning behind this, honestly, is that I wanted to try and take out that defending queen. We had access to two air defenses plus a scatter. And I kind of misjudged. I thought we could have reached the uh, lower multi inferno over the walls, but clearly not. That's one tile too far. But the queen does move in. She's going to get some value here. And from here, I kind of leave her to do her thing. I try and tr I try to make her go over towards the left side. Obviously, we know what queens are like. They kind of do what they want to do. So I wasn't banking on it, but I was hoping the queen will work her way around to the left and try and get in towards that town hall. So we're getting the CC dealt with, perfectly placed poison, really nicely done. You can see we've got a flame flinger selected, but we haven't actually used the flame flinger. Interesting. Does that mean we're not going to? Or are we going to use it really late? Or have I forgotten to use it? Who knows, guys? Who knows? Either way, we've got the pathing built. We've got the dragon riders and loons coming in with about a minute and a half left over. King's going to start his cleanup on the outside. And my aim was to have him walk up towards 12. And there goes the flame flinger. And if you're wondering why I dropped it in when I did, it's because I realised I had no um, guarantees that the Queen was going to get that Town Hall down. I knew that Multi Inferno on the lower side was going to be a problem, so I went for a Hail Mary and sent the Flame Flinger in from 9 instead. So what I could have done, or what I would have done, if I knew the Queen would have got that Town Hall, if I was absolutely certain it was going to happen, is I would have um, instead used a probably a Stone Slammer. As it happens, the Queen kind of makes it into the Town Hall and takes it anyway. So, whatever. We've got a Flame Flinger on the back end. It's doing some work. It's not It's not a complete fail. It was just a misjudgment on my part. So, in hindsight, Stone Slammer would have been a better option. At least then we'd still have some Dragon Riders left. So, as you can see, we've got no Dragon Riders. We do have the King. We've got the Owl. We've got Lassie running around. A couple of minions, a Sneaky, and that Flame Flinger trying its best to clutch everything up for us. So this flame flinger is like the MVP here. So as it happens, I sent it in with a bit of misjudgment, but it's actually come in majorly clutch right now. And are we going to get the three? Are we? Build a hut, are you going to go down? It does. It's a three star, guys. Flame flinger does get the job done. So if there's a lesson to be learned from that, even if you have got halfway through your attack, you haven't dropped your siege in, but you still think you can get some value from your flame flinger. Don't be scared to deploy it. It can actually still help a great deal, and it really did in that attack. We're into attack number five, and so far we are steamrolling the opposition. So you can see here we've got a teaser base, and I love teaser bases with queen charge attacks. And the reason for that is because they're so easy to charge down. You've got enough in your arsenal to get it done. So we've got our balloons for Coco Loons. We've got our invis. Of course, there's a fantastic job if you're in a spot of bother. You've got the rages. And of course, you've got that queen ability if all else fails. Um, it's just so easy. So easy. And we can take out the town hall, both scatter shots, the queen and RC. So both air targeting heroes. It's just really, really nice, simple value. Okay. Queen takes out the heroes, takes out the town hall. We've got the flame flinger coming in from four o'clock. Now, where's it going to go? It doesn't really matter too much, but I think it's quite obvious it's going to work its way up and around towards 12. Regardless, because the expos are all in the top half of the base, we don't need to worry too much here. We're not under any real pressure to protect that flame flinger just yet. So Queen's working her way down. King gets dropped in. I wanted him to take out the other scatter shot. So the other scatter shot is going to get targeted. And there we go. Healers under some pressure there from a red air bomb. 
but they survive. Freeze goes down on the scatter. It does the, uh, force the queen ability. I was hoping to hold on to that, but queen ability has been burned. It's fine. It got her through the king, so no big deal. We still have two rages left and a freeze. And now we send the dragon riders in with balloons tanking coming in from one o'clock. And the beauty is here, guys. We are going to have the balloons, additional supplementary balloons coming in from the flame flinger over at 4.30. Queen's working away around the outside doing some nice cleanup for us. So we're getting that cleanup in, which is why it's definitely not going to be a time fail. Definitely not. So one thing that I would say that I don't do often enough that you might want to do if you take this attack into uh, into Legends is try and find a plan to get rid of the Eagle as early as possible. I'm noticing watching these attacks back that I'm not always doing that. I'm quite often leaving the Eagle standing towards the end of the attack and it's putting really unnecessary pressure on my Dragon Riders, on my Balloons, on my Heroes. It's just recommended to try and get that eagle down at least halfway through the attack. But anyway, you can see that we're getting a triple here, guys. It's not a time fail. We know that much already. Then we've got a headhunter on the clan castle. We've got tons of balloons. We've got the warden. We've got the queen, minion, sneaky goblin, baby dragon. And we've got a three star too. So that is five attacks and four triples. Oh my lord, this is so good, guys. Honestly, if you haven't tried this and you love a good queen charge, this is probably the attack for you. And Christmas has come early here because we have John Cena. Probably not the John Cena, but we do have John Cena here with another teaser base. This time we've even got the luxury of having the clan castle over at 12. So you know we're starting over at 12 with that charge. Problem is we've got those air defenses, which are a little bit of a problem for us. So they are going to cover probably where we drop the healers. So Queen dropped in. And you're gonna see a big mistake from me right now. Big mistake. So heals get dropped in. They actually are out of range of the air defense, so ideal. I don't know if you noticed, but I dropped in, I think, three rages then. I don't know what I was doing, <laughs> honestly. I think I thought I still had healers selected. Um, but yeah, I had a moment of madness there. And you'll notice because of that, I hadn't dropped all of my healers in. So I massively screwed up there. Swagged three healers and my queen ability right off the bat. That is terrible, terrible on my part. King moves in. He'll take out the air defense and the defending king. That means the queen can step up and take care of both of these scatters. So at this point, I'm in kind of damage limitation mode. I've made an absolutely awful, awful mistake which by rights should cost me any hope of a reasonable percent. So this could be what blows my really high scoring day. So Queen working round takes out the warden. She's gonna step down towards six. We get the riders coming in and this is where the stone slammer actually does make an appearance. It actually does appear. So guys, I'm not just dependent on the flame flinger. I just love using it. But uh, yeah, stone slammer coming in here, tanking for the riders. We had a lot of base still to get through and no spells to support. And that is, again, purely because of my screw up, because I made a mistake. I I don't know whether it's something to do with the update or whether my iPad's just starting to lag or something, but I'm finding a, I'm having a lot of deployment issues lately. Anyway, I'm going to stop making excuses now because we are actually getting through the base okay. Queen is still up, doesn't have ability fair enough but she's still standing and under no pressure so she's cleaning up behind the rc rc does however have ability and she's now got to move in towards a single inferno which ain't good news for our little royal champion ability fires off thankfully damages the single and allows her to move in and actually take that single down now she's trying to get through this on very low health heals are keeping her just about buffed up get through the build up come on you can do this Come on, Royal Champion, you can do it. Her health is low. But now, one last defense to get through in that area. And the RC is actually surviving this. He was trying to follow over towards the Tesla. Is that Tesla going to win the battle? No. Two shots from the RC, Tesla goes down. Guys, this is almost unbelievable. Only one defense left in play. It's the Tesla hidden away over here. Completely missed it. But the RC does get pulled in. She gets pulled into that area that does need cleaning up. So that's a win. Five seconds left. Oh my lord, are we actually going to three star this? Three swagged spells and we come in with a 99% two star time fail. That is a massive rip. But 
but it is a showcase of how good this attack actually is. So silver lining is it's just great proof of um, if you come up against the teaser base, this is really, really strong. Just try not to swag three of your spells right at the start. OK, anyway, let's swiftly move on. Onto attack number seven, and we already know it's not going to be a perfect day, which is really sad actually, because I think if all the army comps I've tried, this is probably the one that would feel most rewarding to get a perfect day from. And not because it's a extremely difficult one, but because it's something that I've not really tried before. So Super Bowl with Smash, that kind of thing, honestly, I kind of expect to do really well with that. This I'm going to be honest with you, I came into it half expecting to have a really rough time and I've actually really enjoyed it. This is something that I probably will take forward and I'm going to do a push in a legend season in the not too distant future, maybe even the next one. I'll ask you guys in the community tab to see what you think, but I'm kind of thinking of doing a legend push and this may just be the army that I take into legends with me. Anyway, we've got the queen charging in beautifully here. The queen charge being manipulated quite nicely. We've got a pushing... Oh, she was meant to have pushed in. Rip. Rip. That's bad. So we wanted the queen to move in between the multi and scatter shot because she could have reached the scatter, reached the expo, and hopefully tried to even break her in towards the town hall. We still got a way of getting her into the town hall though, so it's not the biggest fail. It's just plan A didn't quite work. Tesla pops up. It's going to wipe out our flame flinger. Or is it? No, not going to wipe it out. Doesn't wipe it out, but does enough damage. But then another Tesla pops up. It's like, can you get any more unlucky than that? Honestly, I don't think you can. Anyway, Flame Flinger pops. Balloons come out of it. So that's a really premature break for that Flinger. I was hoping it'd get up and take care of the upper scatter shot too. Anyway, Queen's pushing through. Town Hall's going to go down. She can reach the Expo from that compartment too. So not bad, not bad. Dragon Riders moving in towards the Scattershot Air Defense and the Defending Queen. So we send our last Headhunter in there. Queen's going to get taken out. Tome protecting everything moving through. We've got one Rage Spell left. We've got an Invis left over as well. And the Queen still has her ability. So we are actually still looking pretty strong right now. Dragon Riders working through. They are starting to drop off a little bit. They're under some pressure here, but they're getting the value that we wanted from them. And that's all that really, really matters. King is going to take our RC down. RC ability fires off, takes out some Teslas and an Arch Tower. Queen is shooting at a wall because, you know, Queen, at this point, I should have sent in a long time ago, actually, those seven minions towards that storage and collector. Maybe this could be looking a little bit less like a time fail. But we get the Dragon Rider taking out the Wizard Tower. So we've got what? Multi, Wizard Tower, Builder Hut, Cannon left over. That's all we've got. And we do have the Queen that is more than capable of taking care of all of them. And honestly, I'm kind of disappointed in this one. I'm kind of disappointed because one, I fell for that Tesla trap over at three o'clock with my Flinger that would have made all the difference. And two, it's just another time fail. It's like, what is wrong with me, guys? Well, hello there. Another teaser style base. Okay. So I'm going into this one without a Flame Flinger because honestly, I didn't notice that my clanmates hadn't donated me one. So we had to default to a Stone Slammer here. But we're going to take the same sort of approach as we always do with these bases. So the teaser, so we know that we can charge at nine o'clock. We know that's going to be easy enough to do. So Queen dropped in, healers on top of her. And we've got five rages, so we've got plenty of firepower. Plus we've got our headhunters if we want to use them. So Queen takes out the king, has to burn her ability because I was sloppy again. Why am I so sloppy with these early queen charges? You know, these kind of things, these kind of mistakes really can cost you. The Queen's moving in towards the Town Hall. We're struggling to keep her up here. You can see her health dropping really, really low. That Invis dropped in a nick of time. Queen takes down the Town Hall. We still need to protect her. So Freeze goes down on the RC Expo and Warden. And it looks like we're probably through the worst of it now. Just about. Yes, there we go. RC goes down. I was like, wait, did that RC actually go down? 
Okay, King's tanking for the Queen, so we are getting away with this. This looked really tragic at the start and made so many terrible mistakes on the early Queen charge, but did manage to recover it. So we've got the Queen now working away down towards six. At this point, I'm going to break the Queen in towards the multi Inferno using sneaky goblins to guide her in. Make sure she's got nowhere else to go. Rage down. We want to get that queen through the multi before the healers take too much damage. And of course, with the eagle locked on, we had to protect her. Balloons coming in with the dragon riders and the stone slammer from six o'clock. Stone slammer comes in at a slight angle to try and draw the attention of the scatter shot. So that was my plan anyway. I wanted to make sure that these balloons and the riders weren't going to get targeted by the scatter too early on. I want to keep these balloons up as long as possible knowing that we've got a single inferno right in the core. Single does go down however and we get these uh, dragon riders and balloons just pushing their way through the base. They're using brute force right now and again this is where it's a little bit different to Lalo. With Lalo you need a really good defined path and you can kind of build that path as you're going along. But with Dragon Riders, you're left with five troops, but they're super tanky, super powerful. So you don't have to worry about having a super clean path. I said super a lot there, didn't I? You don't have to worry about having that super clean path as long as you can protect them moving through. One Dragon Rider more than capable of winning a head to head with pretty much any defensive structure. And you can see here, guys, we are cleaning house right now. So Queen doesn't have a bit. In fact, we've got nothing left to deploy, but we do have a ton of cleanup in play, like tons of it. Queen's going to shoot at a wall because, hey, Queen, I, I know it's a hobby. Go for it. Knock yourself out because we've got the troops to clean up. We don't need you to contribute here. You've done your job. Have a little break. Go shoot a wall. Beautiful. Three star on at just. And that felt good. What a great army comp. And there we have it guys, plus 294 for this Legends Day. Actually phenomenal. I'm really, really happy with that. And again, I'm going to try this again in the future and see if we can try and clutch a perfect day with it. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Also drop a comment to let me know if you've tried this comp out and how you did. I'm guessing you got perfect days because you guys are OP. And of course, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be made aware when I go live or when I post new videos in the future. I do one or the other pretty much every single day, so there's always fresh content on the channel. Until next time, much love. Big Veil is out.